remember? Was that what you remember? I remember everything, you know, because I was 13. Yeah. And uh, in uh, North Korea, they don't have a sixth grade, elementary school only five. Mm -hmm. I finished five, and I went to uh, junior high school. Then middle of junior high school, I think we left. Mm -hmm. So I remember most, you know, uh, all the things in, in, in Pyongyang. Mm -hmm. But when I went in 1989, mm -hmm. well, you know, that's a different. My home, which I remember, is nearby the Gongsol uh, Undongjang, uh, you know, the stadium uh, mm -hmm. right by the western part of Pyongyang, mm -hmm. became the the uh, what is it? The Gaesonmun, uh, like uh, in France is the Saint Richard, the, the Gaesonmun, the big arch for Kim Il Sung's Gaesonmun Triumph uh, Gate or something. Mm -hmm. You know, it's all changed. I saw. Mm -hmm. I don't know yet. Anyway. Yeah. So I wrote in my uh, biography there, but when uh, <clears throat> I went uh, there, searching through this uh, Beijing uh, North Korean embassy, sending letters and then my background, and then took uh, many years. Mm -hmm. I have also a lot of uh, become I'm uh, from uh, Sungsil, which is a missionary kind of missionary school. Mm -hmm. A lot of friends who are uh, ministers of you know the Protestants. Mm -hmm. Not the Catholic father, but me. a lot of friends of mine are still here. They also like me. They had a better way going North Korea. I don't know because of through the uh, mm. Presbyterian mission or Methodist or something, you know, and more medical aid, uh, you know. So they asked them helping me. I'm locating, trying to locate my uh, mom. Anyway, mm -hmm. one day I was in uh, LA. And then my daughter was in, uh, in Bethesda, called me that my friend, and they finally found my mother, so you can visit her. That's what they studied. But I briefly talked about Dr. Linton when I was in Seoul. I still do not know the hear the story, true or not, but when I went to North Korea, two weeks planning, I didn't see my mother at the airport. So it was really uh, strange, you know. So then my uh, uncle, my my mother's uh, the uh, younger brother, mm -hmm. he who he is communist, retired then, mm -hmm. and then I asked what happened to uh, my mother. Mm -hmm. He was hesitant; they didn't say anything. It was a bit of, you know very bad feeling in my mind. But then we uh, we came into down uh, Pyongyang to Kori Hotel. Then I had, am able to sit down with my uncle, t like you. Mm -hmm. What happened to mother? Yeah. Because I, when I came from America, they said that your mother is there, still there. He said my mother died two months ago. Mm. Yeah. Now this is debatable. I still do not know because remember that when I went to Pyongyang, there was what, 89, 50, uh, 39, almost 40 years after I went. Remember, I left at 13, mm -hmm. so it will be, what, how, many, how old will I be, 54 or something like that. So I was uh, trying to figure out how my mother would have looked like. Mm -hmm. Because got old, 40 more, more years old, mm -hmm. but with the same face I remember, so far, so far, you know. But anyway, um, when I got the picture, I couldn't really recognize my mother, mm -hmm. honestly. From Pyongyang, I called my mother, my, my wife in Bethesda. Sorry to say this, but my mother is not here. I came all the way searching for six years. They say my mother died. Then that message went to Seoul, my brother, my father. Later on, I went up about, uh, I, after I come back, went to uh, Seoul, uh, maybe six months later, eight months later. My, you know, my father saying, this is not your mother. This is not my, my wife. They just brought you up there to take advantage of you. I, I couldn't say yes or no. I don't know. Because I cannot really remember my mother's face. But my brother, two years older than me, believes that's his mother. So I was telling my father, Daddy, you are wrong. Look at this, look at this, all the pictures. Anyway, so finally we convinced him it's uh, his wife. Isn't that tragic? Mm -hmm. Sad yeah. story. So, um, but I would be able to visit my homeland. My brother who died in uh, Auckland was telling me, at least you did it as your son, you did your job. <laughs> Look at me, I couldn't go, but you went for me, I'm thanking for you. 
for that kind of thing. And um, it's a very sad story all the way around. I mean, you know, again, when my father died in 87 in Seoul, he kept saying that I wanted to visit my homeland and see your mother or somebody else. I wanted to visit, but I couldn't do it and he died. My brother, same thing. He really wanted to go home and see, but he couldn't do it. My guess is this is really happening now. And the reason I am here is that, you know, I left at 13, and I am now just, you know, just past my American age, 73, I'm 74, but just passed in uh, just last week. Look at all the Korean Americans here. You saw that uh, uh, reunion in Seoul, I mean, Kumgang, Kumgang the resort. Mm -hmm. Look at the, how old they are. Yeah. Did you see the old? Of course, it's tragic that they have to say bye-bye again. However, before they die, at the least they see, oh, you're my son, oh, you're my dad, oh, you're my sister. Yeah. And then the, I think there are so many Korean Americans who are looking for this kind of situation.